Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Now, in this tutorial, we will be looking at uh, some uh, compilation notes and uh, compilation notes, some uh, gentle things you have to keep in mind while writing, while looking at uh, while looking at the file commands and all. Okay. Now let's st I'll explain you guys what's going on. Okay. Uh, now let's look at symbols. Okay. There are a lot of symbols in the lat tag. You have to keep in mind. Uh, the pr thing is lat tag symbols. Lat tag symbols are reserved. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I don't know what kind of construct sentence I'm constructing. Symbols in lat tag are pre-deserved uh, not pre-deserved pre-assigned so you cannot use them directly okay hope i hope you guys get understand what this means okay so what I, what i'm trying to say here is that okay symbols like dollar comment carrot and and all all these symbols are have some predefined values predefined meaning assigned in latex so if you just want to use them directly what you have to do is that you uh, use slash symbol okay use backslash uh, uh, symbol to uh, type the characters characters okay now example slash dollar okay slash percentage slash carrot slash and and so on now if I were to compile this hopefully it doesn't throw an error ah good it worked out fine it, uh, hopefully it, uh, okay see uh i think it works i think this will work fine I will, let's see it throws an error yeah i think it is throwing an error okay okay let me remove this for a while so this is how you start writing okay now if you were to write these symbols separately separately now these these will throw an error just like this if i were to write this dollar sign alone separately it will throw an error stating that something is missing because dollar sign has its own meaning in latex so if you want to write a dollar sign okay and you want to get this kind of an output you have to use this backslash symbol because dollar sign percentage sign ampersand sign and all all of them have some predefined meaning in uh, meaning in uh, latex also also uh, let's look at parenthesis Okay, I think that's the spelling. Yeah, perfect. Okay, uh, circular brackets, circular or round brackets do not have any meaning. Do not have any meaning. So you can write them directly, and it, I think you won't have any. You know, so you don't, so you can write them directly okay square brackets square brackets have meaning in uh, param meaning in comments but they can stand alone stand alone okay what I mean is if I just write brackets, they'll just work nicely. Okay. But flower brackets, flower or curly, whichever you call it, brackets are reserved. Reserved. You cannot uh, print them them directly you cannot print them directly so to, ex to uh, uh, illustrate you guys that let's see let's type this 
uh, parent uh, curly braces and um, let's run this you see the uh, curly bra uh, round, uh, circular bra brackets have come has come, has come nicely the square brackets have come nicely but the curly braces have not so if you want to make them to print them use backslash okay to use backslash as in like this okay also to print a backslash to print a backslash use backslash itself like this like this no I, I guess not let's see if this doesn't turn any error no I think to write a backslash you need something else okay I'll just check and let you guys know let you guys notice what do you guys notice the curly braces turn out to be nice turn out, turn out to be nice nice and proper so brackets and symbols have some predefined meaning okay let's look at another another thing over here okay let's look at another, th another thing over here so these symbols okay actually these symbols are used in a certain commands and context all these symbols over here so they cannot be they cannot be uh, directly used so you need uh, you need some important structure to it okay now in commands okay in commands okay uh, square brackets are used for filling option optional arguments or instructions whereas uh, flower brackets are used for filling the command name okay okay uh, for an example for an example let's take the begin doc uh, let's take this document class now everything you write within the square brackets is optional but when you add them it adds more it adds more information to the document whereas everything you write within the curly braces that is compulsory that defines what kind of a command it is likewise look at geometry look at this this command back this command use package command okay uh, geometry is the package name okay whereas everything you write within the brackets are not necessary or optional but when you write them it modifies it overwrites the predefined values in geometry package and uh, and uh, it just predefined pre uh, i mean it overwrites the predefined pack contents in the geometry that's it likewise it's applicable for all of them so okay so uh, so uh, use package commands let me write this over here are used for including special packages into the file they add more features to the document okay sometimes if you want uh, i mean sometimes you want certain mathematical symbols to be present and all they they i mean you, you have to import them using use package methods okay and then and then one one last thing the document structure is as follows okay okay uh document class okay uh, packages use packages okay what else okay uh let me just think about it okay uh definitions and macros 
definitions and macros title page contents title page contents this is the order you have to follow and then document document beginning document ending ending and then contents of the documents content of the documents and extras eg uh, no the ignored extras ignored extras and that's it ignored extras so this is how the doc this is how the document structure of any document like article report anything go goes in that so if i were to compile this okay all this contents are written over here all this contents are written over here so you guys have a look at it you guys can have a look at it okay that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial uh, keep these things very very sharp and clean in your mind because these will be these stuff has to be uh, I mean you have to keep these minds in uh, keep these thoughts in mind or else you might get you might be little uh, uh, you might get a little lost when you're working with some advanced advanced concepts and all okay so that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next tutorial with the next next important concept so take care then